Hello all, this is Tan Lee, founder of 3D Cat Masters. Today I just want to show you a quick solution for a simple problem. Say you create a part and make a first feature. Say a simple rectangle. Now the dimension will show up. However, if you double click, it doesn't let you change. The box disappears, right? Um, a simple quick fix is to, uh, you can click on the dimension and then hover your mouse over this sub menu and click on modify. And change in here, right? Say 200, press enter. That works too, but this takes a few steps to get there. Cancel that or get out of the current part. Now you can be in here and go to File and Options. Okay, Option. Go to Configuration Editor. And you're going to search for, by clicking on Find, click on the search box here to show our description and type in WEB and then click find now and search for one that say web browser homepage this is the problem by default it loads a page that interferes with your sketching uh, dimensions so you type in this word blank and then click on add and change okay what it does is it takes that blank and place it in in your config pro which is the uh, saved under this folder so you have to go there and save it so if i click close here and i click ok it's going to ask me do i want to save the change of course i do i click on yes and it's going to go to the default folder here okay there should be an existing config pro select it and click ok and now it does not work until you restart Creo. Okay, so you shut down Creo and restart it. It should take effective immediately. Let me pause. Okay, I have resumed the recording. Let's go back and check. I have restarted Creo. So if I create a new part and let's extrude something quickly double click on it so now the dimension box stays okay zoom in there you go now you can change just like before okay oh right Again, the key is you have to restart Creo after you make a change in Config Pro. Be sure where you where you where you save your Config Pro. Uh, by default, it should be in that folder path unless you change it. All right, so let's double check that. Go back to File under Options. Go to Config Editor, and you're going to see there it is. Is blank the value is blank it returns nothing all right and uh, again that's the path where you should save your config pro all right that's it good luck sorry for the little problem that you may not see on the internet but um, that should fix it be sure to subscribe and like this video this is tanley founder of 3d cat masters thanks